Hello everyone and welcome to the video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Louise and if you're returning, welcome back. In February, my husband and I went on a cruise to New Zealand and this is all the footage that we took on our day excursions off the cruise. Our first port of call was Auckland, New Zealand and we decided to head over to the Sky Tower as our first tourist destination in the country. The Sky Tower is 328 meters tall and as you can see it provides absolutely gorgeous breathtaking views of the city of Auckland and its surrounds. My husband and I are thrill seekers. Walking on the one and a half inch thick glass in the Sky Tower floor was thrill seeking enough for us, but if you are more adventurous and after an adrenaline rush, you can do something called a skywalk from the Sky Tower and also bungee jumping, which sounds very exciting, but definitely not for me. After the Sky Tower, we decided to go for a walk towards the Winter Gardens and as we were walking by, we stumbled across Albert Park and the University District, which looked so gorgeous with all of these old-fashioned houses. The Winter Gardens open in 1913 and host both tropical and temperate climate plants in two separate glasshouses. It's also home to the corpse plant, which is a huge, beautiful, but rather smelly flower. Unfortunately, it was in the glass house that was undergoing refurbishments, so we didn't get to see it, but we did get to see lots of other beautiful plants and flowers. Following the winter gardens, my husband and I went for a massive walk to climb Mungo Fowl, which is an ancestral mountain in Auckland. So we're, we're just there. Mm -hmm. So we'll walk up there. Mm -hmm. And we'll do a loop of it. Mm -hmm. we Mungo is 196 meters tall, so it's not surprising that we were a little bit out of breath once we got to the top. The crater is 50 meters deep. It is a dormant volcano with the last eruption happening tens of thousands of years ago. In Maori culture, the crater is the home of Mataho, which is a Maori deity who guards the secrets of the earth. Our next stop was Taronga. We only spent a little bit of time here as we were going to hop on a bus and head on over to Hobbiton. So all we did was walk around the town and take in the local sites. Whilst we were cruising around New Zealand, there was a cyclone in the area and unfortunately because it was too severe, we were unable to dock in Napier and so we had an extra sea day and headed down to Wellington. In the morning, we had a Lord of the Rings tour and in the afternoon, we decided to explore the city a little bit. Welcome aboard the Wellington Cable Car and a special welcome to all of our cruise ship passengers. The Cable Car has been operating since 1902. Wellington is a very hilly city. A lot of the residents build their houses up on hills and have to have their own private cable cars to get from the bottom of the street all the way up to their house. I'd imagine that costs quite a pretty penny.
At the top of the cable car, there was a cable car cafe and this cute little free museum that you could walk in and learn a little bit about the history of the cable car there. There were also some pathways to the botanic gardens as well as some other sites on the top of the hill. My husband and I decided to walk through the botanic gardens and find our way to the rose garden. Once we left the rose garden, my husband and I had to make the long, arduous uphill climb back to the cable car to make it back to our cruise ship. Our next stop was Dunedin. Unfortunately, we had to skip Christchurch again because of the cyclone, but it's okay because we arrived safe and sound. I didn't know this, but apparently Dunedin is even steeper than Wellington. Apparently Dunedin is home to the steepest street in the Southern Hemisphere, which my husband and I didn't climb. Instead, we decided to climb this mountain and have a look at the views from the top. As we were making our way towards the coastline, we stumbled across this beautiful cemetery, which was amazing as it was on the side of a hill. After a while, we decided to give up on walking and caught an Uber to St. Clair Beach. We decided to sit down and have a cup of coffee by the seaside. no particular plan for Dunedin, nothing we wanted to really see or do and so we decided to take a nice long stroll along the beach. As we were walking we ran into some furry and feathery friends. and my hubby spotted this interesting piece of seaweed which moved in the weirdest way. We caught an Uber from the seaside into the town of Dunedin and the Uber driver was telling us all these facts about how Dunedin is a sister city to Edinburgh and how the train station is the second most photographed building in the Southern Hemisphere, second to the Sydney Opera House. David and I decided to have a look around the train station. It didn't seem like there were many trains coming in and out of the station at Dunedin. I'm not really sure if it's still in use. We actually stumbled across this beautiful old steam engine that was in this little glass house and we went in and had a look at all the knobs and the dials and the things that you had to do in order to run a train which is very different to how we run our modern trains today. Before we knew it, it was time to head back onto the cruise ship and make our way to our final destination of the cruise, which was the Fjordlands, which are absolutely breathtaking, so beautiful and stunning. I can't wait to release that video for you guys to have a look. As we were heading past the coastline of New Zealand, we came across the Albatross Sanctuary, which was incredible, even though we could only see it from a distance. I've 
only ever heard that noise of seabirds in like TV shows and documentaries and films, never in real life, so it was actually kind of awe-inspiring. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click the like button and you subscribe to see more videos. I'll be coming out with more New Zealand vlogs coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. Thanks and peace out.